What's up, chaps? How's it going? Uh, I hope this <coughs> video finds you all relatively healthy. I'm sure people are going fucking stir crazy. Even I'm a bit pissed off today because the um, the bands using the gyms. Um, I believe it was because they found an Asian gentleman licking the handles of the cross training machines. Um, so they banned them, the use of all of them. Um, that's not true. I did read about one Japanese bloke that was apparently infected and he was purposely going around like coughing and sneezing at people because he, he was just like, I've got it, so fuck the, fuck the lot of you. Totally locked down LA. Restaurants are all closed, bars, fucking gyms, basically anything that's fun. So even I'm a bit pissed off, but you let's soldier on stoically and have a look at the staggering amount of fake fucking news on, on going around now because this is what's pissed me off and I think is the most egregious thing that's happened regarding this whole fucking incident is that people are not using it to come together. They all love giving the old, you know, the kumbaya bollocks about how we're all in this together. But they say that, and then they do the exact opposite. The amount of fucking nonsense that's been said about Trump on this side of the pond and Boris back in Blighty is fucking staggering. Uh, they're clearly using this fucking pandemic as a, as a um, political football to try and just fuck with people that they don't like. And uh, I think it's fucking shocking. It's broke that the EU's closed all the borders to non-essential travel, which that pisses me off straight away because they've spent the last 30 fucking years telling us that oh, there's no way you can close the borders. It's impossible. Even though the Pope might have talked shit about not putting walls up, but them big fuck-off spiky ones around the Vatican seem to do a good job of it, don't they? It, it pisses me off how easily they seem to have managed this. The EU has just gone, right, no one's moving. And they're enforcing it. So, why did they have to, why could they not do that when two million random sweaty men from the third world started just wandering over? Why did Merkel have to go, how are you in lads, it's fucking party time in Deutschland. It, it pisses me off. It, the coronavirus has achieved something there because it's proved that the mad cunts who run the show just talk complete bollocks. They know it and we know it. 30 years they've said they can't impose any borders. And then as soon as someone fucking coughs in, coughs in the general direction of an oligarch, everything gets locked down. So, you, you've been talking shit for 30 years, lads, haven't you? We've caught you. It's like trying to herd cats. It's enforcing the law. And they always managed it in the 80s when I was a lad. You know, immigration was sensible. You get tens of thousands of people moving there every year. Skills-based, people that were good eggs, and they had a medical, and they had a background check. Nothing wrong with that. Again, I'm sure everyone watching this agrees with me. Nobody's anti-immigrant. I'm a fucking immigrant, but at least you have to have a process, a sensible process. You bring something to the table, you're law-abiding, and you don't have a criminal record, and you don't have any fucking diseases. And this shit needs to change going forward. That's what we need to be doing in the future. What we're doing now, a much more watered-down version, needs to be applied in general. Because the days of just letting anybody in, oh, you've got two burglosis and Ebola, fucking crack on. There's people moved to the UK who spread AIDS. Like, seriously. It's a proven fact that HIV and AIDS increased in the UK because of immigration, i.e. people moved there who had it. And this story from 2003 was regarding, we knew it was happening, but the MP said, no, we can't test them. That'll be against the human rights. And that's just one example I'm talking about with regards to common sense immigration policy. Like, you should get a medical. I had to get a medical. Some fucking woman had to feel my plums, give me a chest x-ray, fucking the whole shebang. And I'm moving there from England, not fucking Rwanda. So the shit's got to change. This might have, there might be some positives come out of this in the long run because stuff's got to change. We need to stop this globalist shit, bring the fucking jobs back from places like China and India and, and, and have a common sense approach to the way we do business moving forward. 95% of the drugs are made in China apparently. And I'd call me a fucking madman, but I don't think that's a good idea when we may have to deal with shit like this. So regarding the proper fake news about Johnson, I'll let um, the wonderful Darren Grimes, working class hero, this lad, I'll let him explain it in fucking 30 seconds. The way the media's been handling it so far. It's hysterical. Yeah, you know, yeah. they're trying to whip up hysteria. They're trying to accuse the Prime Minister. I don't know if you saw that clip that was going round of the Prime Minister on this morning. And it had been doctored. And it was no, trying no. to suggest that the Prime Minister was saying that actually perhaps the best way for this virus 
to run its course is to infect as many people as possible and to hell with the consequences. That isn't what he was saying. He was saying that that's one theory and it's a theory he vehemently disagrees with. So I think there's a lot of, um, well, f fake news for yeah, want of a better yeah, word yeah. around this. And actually, I think it's really important that we listen to the officials and Public Health England, to its credit, has actually been doing a pretty good job. So they've been talking complete shite about Boris Johnson, saying that he didn't take any action. They've, they've had a doctored video floating around saying he did the exact opposite of what he was supposed to. Why would he? The man's been following professional medical advice from the get-go. Did they fuck it up and underestimate it a little bit at the start? They definitely did, because we had flights coming in from Milan. But everyone was a bit flat-footed. He could have done slightly better. He could have definitely done much worse. He's listening to the experts. He doesn't think he's a fucking doogie fucking hauser, does he? He doesn't think he's medical genius for all of his flaws. He's listening to the people who know what they're doing. So just leave him fucking to it. And as for Trump, it's just fucking endless. The Trump administration's botched coronavirus response explained. From insufficient testing to a lack of coordination, Trump's response has been a disaster years in the making. Some of these stories are fucking ridiculous. Like, even if you think the guy's a cunt, you've got to hold your hands up and go, shit, like, come on, let's have, let's have a bit of fucking common sense with regard to how much you, one man's expected to do. And then Huffington Post were like, here's a video of Trump trying to explain why he cut the pandemic response team. They keep saying, oh yeah, he cut the pandemic response team, he cut the funding for the fucking Center for Disease, uh, Center for Disease Control, he's a fucking retard, he does the opposite of what the doctors tell him. Again, he's got his flaws. He's not. He doesn't think he knows more than the Surgeon General, does he? He doesn't. As always, I'll use some left-wing sources to fucking refute the guy. Politifact, they're obviously saying half true because they can't bring themselves to say it. it's not fucking true. But it, Bloomberg started the rumour during the town hall when he said, oh yeah, he fired the pandemic team, he defunded the CDC. It's not fucking true. It didn't, it didn't happen. Politifact says, um, fired may be a little strong, but top national security advisors left abruptly. So he didn't fire anyone, they fucking left, quit, resigned, whatever you want to use. But resigned, quit or left doesn't mean step into my office, you're fucking fired. It just means gone of their own volition, if you will. And as for funding, again, they have to have some backhanded comments. There's no question that they sought to cut some budget categories, but thanks to Congress, the funding was restored and even increased in bills that Trump ultimately signed. But they ultimately in there as well. So let's just cut through the bullshit. He didn't fire anyone, anyone that left resigned, and funding wasn't cut, and it didn't even stay the same, it went up. Funding went up under this administration. So, fucking done. You can use whatever slippery words you like, but that's a fucking fact. Funding went up, nobody got fired. Fuck off. Uh, 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 done. The other fucking ridiculous one that everyone's been pissing and whining about, again, because they love to play the race card, there have been people fucking fighting a pandemic, and we just keep hearing about... Racist this, racist that, be nice to the fucking Asians, even though Asian women in this country make more money than white men, but apparently we've got to fucking worry about them all the time. Um, all they've talked about is fucking being racist to Asians, stories that never happened. Like, that's a good one, look at that. This morning a White House official referred to coronavirus as Kung Flu to my face. It makes me wonder what they're called it behind my back. <laughs> Don't believe it. I'll take stories that never fucking happened for 200, please, Bob. An older woman in front of me demanded her drink get remade because her barista was Asian. When I tried to inform her how irrational that request was, she turned and sneered, are you Chinese? I replied, no, but your ugly ass knockoff purses shut your racist asses up. And that got 830,000 likes. Like, that's a fucking tale of abject fantasy. Um, apparently pleased people on the fucking... The Great Unwashed on Twitter. Fucking what a load of absolute shite. And then obviously follows up with, we need to come together in the face of the worldwide pandemic. No, but you guarantee if you click on this daft cunt's profile, it'll just be fucking dripping about one side of his, what the people he assumes are his ideological opponents. So the other one I was talking about was, uh, yeah, the Washington Post. CDC director rejects label Chinese virus after Trump McCarthy tweets. The reason they give these things a name is because there's numerous strains of coronavirus. 
So the WHO, the UN, the CDC, and everybody else has used the term. They use it to differentiate between the different strains. And that's why they've started calling it COVID-19 now. But originally, that's what it went by. So the fact that he used the term isn't the fucking end of the world. And the reason he did so, this is off CNN, was because the fucking Chinese themselves, because they've, they've done such a good job of fighting back against the virus, which you can do when you live in a communist fucking super state that can use tanks to run, run over people when they're coming home from the fucking from school. Uh, the, the reason you, they're going to be successful closing down the virus and making the numbers drop is because they can use tactics that would be deemed, shall we say, um, extremely repellent to anybody in the fucking Western world. Um, so the Chinese have got a grip of it and they've pushed the numbers down. So then they're now coming out using propaganda like they always fucking do and saying, oh yeah, well, um, it's not from us eating bats and shit. <laughs> it's, not for, it's not from us putting spitting cobras in fucking baguettes. It's because the uh, American military brought it over. Everyone knows that. Total bullshit. So in response, he went on Twitter and said, it's a fucking Chinese virus. Don't talk nonsense. Let's not make out like it's just down to pure idiocy. The, the argument is that Boris, Trump, and anybody who isn't a fucking lefty ideologue is a cunt and we should all come together while definitely talking complete shit about the fucking anybody right of centre and we should definitely come together but except them, fuck them. They should be put in a burlap sack and ditched in the ocean. It does stagger me that they managed to hold two completely contradictory views at the same time and say it with a fucking straight face. Like this daft cunt here, look. So J Johnson gave an update on the coronavirus. Perfectly reasonable fucking statement. This guy said he fucked up. He ignored the advice of the who. He didn't. And then he said, There needs to be a government of national unity with the best people for the job, no matter the party. You mean the people you fucking like, who didn't win an election and can't fucking win an election and have lost every fucking election they've partaken in in the last 12 years? You mean they need to be in charge, do they? I just said, Listen, dipshit. Just because your team can never win a fucking election doesn't mean we have to sack the government. Seriously, if these daft cunts want to have a say in how we fucking run things and how we respond to viruses, win a fucking election on both sides of the Atlantic. Win an election and then you can fucking decide how it works. But until then, shut the fuck up and wind your neck in because that's how it works. If you win the election, you get to decide what we fucking do. You can't just throw it all out the fucking window because you're having a hissy fit because you don't like the guy in charge and pretending that now's the time to do it for national unit just because there's a fucking pandemic <laughs> it's laughably fucking ridiculous everyone can see what you're doing stop fucking whinging while simultaneously talking about we all have to come together shut the fuck up and let the government deal with it because it's not gonna wash you don't get to throw out the people you don't like because you can't win an election just because there's a bit of an emergency going on it's fucking obvious and anyway that's it that's all i've got to say today i'm gonna do something more productive like uh watch Shaun of the dead that seems like a suitable distraction for a pandemic. And hey, it's definitely better than that, right? We thought we were going to get fucking eaten by zombies or something like on 28 Days Later or Shaun of the Dead. And instead, all we have to do is um, possibly run out of toilet roll and stay in the house. Uh, not the end of the fucking world, is it? As long as I don't find anyone eating someone's face in the living room, I'll, uh, I'll be happy. So yeah, that's that. You don't get to overthrow the government just because there's a bit of a, a nasty flu going around. <laughs> fucking maniacs.